Supplement Kitchen Reviews here. I'm your host, Booth. And today, we have with us, kind of an old friend, boom, Destiny Formulations and their new Prime X pre-workout. Let's get started. Right, Destiny Formulations is back. You may recognize that name as it is the same team who brought you or brought us the cool product of Pre Bro Dude a while back. So this is their new uh, Prime X pre workout, and as you can see, it is a really really dark red powder really dark red so but it's fine nothing crazy uh, so prime x let's take a look at this scoop it is a big scoop size of 24.8 gram scoop pretty biggie uh let's see suggested use as a dietary supplement mix one scoop of Prime X into 10 to 16 ounces of cold water in a shaker cup, either before, during, or after your workout. Shake thoroughly and drink. New users may wish to assess tolerance with half a scoop and do not exceed more than two servings in a 24 hour period. Pretty standard there. Um, let's see here. Cool redesign. Look at this, like, big ass gorilla here. Um, uh, let's see. So one other cool thing I like to point out: um, ten percent of profits go to muscular di dystrophy research charities. So no, a good cause behind the brand. They did that with the Pre Bro dude as well. Um, they've continued that trend here with the Prime X. So let's get into the flavor of Rocket Pop. Rocket Pop. Look at this. Uh, as you can see, the powder color comes over to mix. Um, is definitely like a beet red type color. So let's take a little sniffy sniff. Oh, so no, not super overpowering. I mean, you do get that bomb pop type esque, like cherry kind of smell. Super good. Let's try it. Rocket Pop. So, it's that traditional Rocket Pop flavor. I mean, um, reminds me exactly of the Pre-Bro Dude. The Pre-Bro Dude was a really good uh, bomb pop flavor. So, I feel like they have the same exact <laughs> flavoring system that they added here. Um, super good. Super mellow. Nothing over sweet, overpowering, nothing like that. Um, one thing I did notice, though, is that it does settle pretty quickly. Um, so, like, it'll foam up, and then it'll settle, settle, settle. Um, so nothing, cr nothing like you can't, a few shakes won't do. Uh, if you're like me, you chug your pre-workout anyways. So, but overall flavor and mixability is, or yeah, flavor's good. Mixability is decent. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. So let's jump into the lay bow here. So uh, you're getting 30 servings per container um, at the one scoop serving. You got your sodium, 110 milligrams, potassium at 210 milligrams. Your performance matrix, so you've got L-citrulline malate, 8,000 milligrams. So it's going to be your nitric oxide booster, which is going to aid in like blood flow, um, things like that and bro terms you go and get the pumps and then you got your creatine mono there um, as most people should know um, creatine monohydrate is the uh, one of the most well studied uh, ingredients in supplement there is it's going to help you get bigger stronger uh, muscle growth things like that just take your creatine 
uh, beta alanine at 4,000 milligrams. It's going to help you with endurance, stamina, um, bro turns, get the tingles. Get your beetroot extract at 3,000 milligrams. So this is known f so beets uh, are known for their nitrate con content. Um, so this is going to act as uh, kind of a another nitric oxide boosting type deal. Um, so that that's what the beet root does. Clean energy complex. You've got your L taurine, which is going to help reduce uh, kind of fatigue, um, overall brain function, mental performance. You got caffeine anhydrous at 150 milligrams. Energy, the norm. Um, L theanine. So L theanine is kind of like. Uh, it promotes like relaxation, calming, uh, a calming kind of agent, um, and then some studies do show when it's paired with caffeine that it does um, that it does pro provide some type of cognitive focus. I'm not big on L-theanine. Um, sometimes it hurts, in my opinion, pre-workouts. Then it helps, but to each their own. Not all, but some. Then you got your bioperine at 10 milligrams. It's going to help with absorption, things like that. All right, what is this outline? So, uh, clean energy, better performance, optimal blood flow, increased strength, and endurance. So, that there's the Primal X uh, label, what it outlines. Let's talk about performance. So, you know, this this reminds me exactly of the pre bro dude. You know, the pre bro dude was a great daily driver, um, and I feel like this is this plays right into that as well. You know, not too much um, stem heavy. This is something you could definitely, like I said, daily driver. It's gonna get you through those workouts. And actually, I was surprised that the L theanine doesn't play a larger role in this. Um, it actually kind of pairs well with the caffeine in this surprisingly um didn't impact me enough to kind of bring me back bring me down uh you know this is something that i used when i want when i wanted to kind of cycle off uh heavier stems things like that so i run this for run something like this for maybe a week or two and then kind of pick back up um you know pumps you know you're getting your your citrulline you got the beetroot extract in there um pumps are okay i wouldn't say they're nothing like super crazy um so you know kind of each is it is what it is i mean when it when it comes to this so it, it's pre-workout it's not really kind of a pump i take pre-workout to get me through my workouts and help me perform um but i mean i think that you know focus is there as well um and i kind of think that plays off of the energy aspect a little bit as well um i would say if if anything um this is just kind of a well-versed um nothing that's going to pop out stand out um anything like that like i said I, I think it's a really good daily driver to, to kind of push you through um those workouts or help you cycle off those heavier stems and get away from that so also um if you don't like the tingles this um didn't i didn't get any real major tingles from this um which beta a doesn't really impact me as much so could impact someone a little different so keep that in mind as well all right, so let's talk about ratings. Mixability. Um, at first, it mixes really good, and then it kind of settles, so you have to kind of keep mixing it. So mixability, I'm going to give it a 9 just because of that. Um, but nothing you can't shake up and, and solve. And if you're chugging, you ain't going to worry about it anyways. Flavor on the Rocket Pop. Um, I think it's a really good Rocket Pop. I think it's exactly, like I said, just like their other pre-workout, um, perfect. Uh, I would have to say, you know, for a bomb pop perspective, probably give it probably a nine. It's good. Uh, let's talk about performance now. Uh, so on performance, uh, Prompt X, uh, like I said, I think this is a really good daily driver. Um, you know, I don't think it's anything that's um, over the top um, that's going to, like, blow you away. And if you're a STEM head and that's all you're looking for, I don't think this is for you. I think this could be for, like, an everyday user um all the way from beginner up to expert possibly so with that being said i can see myself like i said using this and kind of cycling off from those heavier stems 
Um, I would I'd say it's a nine. Um, I like it. I'd say it's a, one of the better daily drivers out there. So that brings us to overall nine. Boom. There's my thoughts. There's that on Destiny Formulations new Prime X pre workout in the Bomb Pop flavor. Um, so first of all, want to thank Destiny Formulations. Tag them up here. Uh, for getting this over to me, I'll uh, be sure to uh, check them out, do all that good stuff. This sounds like something you'd want. Could ever hit them up, get it up. Like I said, um, remember that ten percent of the charities. So good cause behind it. All right. Well, I'm about all promixed out. 